On Friday morning, July 10th, 2015, a group of assailants tried to attack a military position. At the enemy side, we have 170 captured. Are they being forced to talk to media? No, 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 they are not forced. They are not forced. If they don't want, they will not talk. But I think they are free. We're at a military base right now in Chibitoke province. One of the major developments over the weekend was this uh, supposed rebel incursion from the northwest of the country. Uh, we don't really know many details. There's been tons of rumors, some saying they crossed the border from Rwanda, some saying they crossed the border from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Um, but we're here right now because apparently the Burundi military is going to show off some of the people they captured and some of the weapons they captured. Burundi's military has a reputation of actually being very professional. They've been trained and funded by America. They're actually seen as a unifying factor in the country, and there was a moment during the protest when they were seen protecting protesters from the police. The question is whether that unity is going to stay around in the next few weeks. So this sort of has the feel of a weird media spectacle. Uh, they actually told us the beer so they could show off these captured uh, insurgents um, who are over my left shoulder right now. They don't really look scared. They actually look bored to be here. And uh, you know, it's impossible for us to verify. But according to some of the local journalists we're working with, um, they think this is fake. They don't think these guys are rebels at all. <laughs> On Friday morning, July 10th, 2015, a group of assailants tried to attack a military position. Forces from the third military region uh, reacted quickly against uh, this aggression by harassing the attackers in the Kibira forests. They have ended with the following uh, result. We have six uh, soldier injuries, one civilian killed, and uh, one civilian injured. At the enemy side, we have 31 assent killed and 170 captured, several various weapons seized. The National Defense Forces operated with rigor to respect for the human rights. Thank you very much for your attention. The next step is <laughs> guns. <laughs> What you see here are weapons that have been seized from insurgent enemy. We have uh, machine guns, we have two uh, rocket launchers, we have a Motor 60 and uh, Kalashnikov. That is what uh, has been seized. <laughs> Si ce n'est pas un secret, pourquoi vous ne voulez pas juste révéler réellement pourquoi vous, restez, vous avez beaucoup de réserves par rapport à la provenance de, de, de ces gens alors qu'ils le disent clairement Une armée sans secret, une armée sans réserve, ce n'est pas une armée. As, as militaries, we do operations, we are professional in operations. If those captures can say themselves, where they have been trained, where they came from, that will be one information that you can take. But since now, we didn't uh, have that time to go to ask them where they come from, because it takes time. They don't look like soldiers. They don't look like rebels. How do we know that they're rebels? How can you verify that to us? Because they look like villagers that were just rounded up. Okay, because if someone is coming with gun, fighting, it is normal. Are they being forced to talk to media? No, 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 they are not forced. They are not forced. If they don't want, they will not talk. But I think they are free. We headed to see where the majority of prisoners were being held, not knowing whether or not the captives were being coerced into talking, or if they were legitimately rebels. And with the military and police hovering nearby and listening to conversations, we were hesitant to interview any of the captured men. So, uh... As we were leaving the, the last location where the guns were, uh, a couple of soldiers off camera went and told the, another reporter 
that um, everything that was being said wasn't true. Uh, and another soldier told our driver during the whole thing that this was all false as well. It's just kind of a, a spectacle over here. Uh, a couple local reporters say it looks like most of them were just poor kids in Bujumbura. They do think a few among them were actually rebels. Uh, but it's just, any reporter who tries to talk to them, you're seeing the military come over and, and just sit there as they talk. You know, you, how much faith can you really put in, in someone's words in this sort of situation? So I think we're just gonna leave and, and not deal with this whole thing because it's making me incredibly uncomfortable. Uh, yeah. You know, we have more questions than we do answers uh, in this situation. <laughs> Thank you.